Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicola and today I'm gonna take you through a half an hour long yoga flow. So we will start in easy pose. You can sit comfortably and gently close your eyes. Bring the focus inwards and start focusing on your breath. No props are needed today for the class, but of course you can have some blocks at hand in case you need them. If you need to rest during the class, please do so. Find your way into child's pose or any similar pose that feels good to you. Today's practice will have a grounding nature, so lots of poses will be done close to the ground and we will have some balancing poses as well. If we feel more grounded, we can be focused on the present moment, which creates emotional stability and calms and clarifies the mind. Throughout our practice, we will work with three affirmations. The first affirmation is, I am calm and centered. Repeat this affirmation to yourself internally and see how you feel about it. I am calm and centered. The second one is, I am releasing all my fears and worries. I am releasing all my fears and worries. Again, take some time to let the affirmation sink in. And our last one is, all is well. All is well. Come back to these affirmations at any time during our practice and keep repeating them to yourself internally or also out loud, whatever you prefer. We will take a few moments here, focusing on our breath feeling the sit bones grounding into the mat. When you inhale, feel the spine lengthen and on the exhale, release anything that doesn't serve you. Exhaling all the fears and worries. Now gently open your eyes and we will start lying down on our backs in reclined bound angle pose, Sutta Vada Konasana. So you can bring the soles of your feet together and if the, feels, if the hips feel too tight, take the feet further away from your body. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and close your eyes. Come back once more to our affirmations. I am calm and centered. 
I am releasing all my fears and worries. All is well. On every exhale, feel the hips sinking lower and lower, releasing any tension that you might be holding in the hips. Anytime that you see your mind wander, simply come back to your breath. Now release your legs and bring the knees together, keep your legs bent. Place your right ankle over the left knee, grab your left hamstring with both of your hands and try to press the right knee open with your elbow. You can stay here or you can lift the left leg and bring it closer to your body. Take a few deep breaths here in reclined pigeon. release and we will repeat the pose on the second side so bring your left ankle over the right knee pull the right thigh closer to your body while pressing the left knee open with your left elbow make sure that your shoulders are relaxed release and we will come into tabletop position on your hands and knees. We will do a few rounds of cat and cow. So on the inhale, drop the belly, lift your gaze up, pull your shoulder blades together, open your chest. On the exhale, release, draw the belly into the spine. On the inhale, drop the belly, lift your gaze up. And exhale, push down through the fingers and palms. Repeat. Follow your own breath. Last one. Inhale to look up. And exhale, push into the ground. Now make your spine neutral and we will come into balancing table. So you can bring your left arm up and right leg up, one long line. And now bring the knee and the elbow together to touch. Lengthen and on the exhale, bring it together in a big ball. Lengthen and bring it together around your spine. A few more like this. Now you can drop your arm down and do some hip circles. 
Find stability, feel your hands grounded into the ground and follow your own breath. Release and bring the right foot in between your hands for low lunge. Your right knee should be stuck over your right ankle, stretch into your hips. Lower your arms and extend the bent leg to come into half splits. Keep your hips square and stacked over your left knee. Release. And come back to the tabletop position. We will find our way into our first downward facing dog. So we can press evenly into both feet. You can paddle the feet a little bit to stretch it out. Now come into plank, bring the knees down, lower all the way down, cobra, lift your heart up and we will come back into the tabletop position and we will repeat the sequence on the other side. So now we will left our, lift our left leg and right arm, lengthen and then on the exhale bring it together, the knee and the elbow little ball. Lengthen and bring it together. A few more like this. Follow your own breath. Now you can drop the arm to the ground and we will do some hip circles with the left leg. Opening the hips, releasing any emotional tension, not only physical. And then bring the leg in between the hands for low lunge. Bring the arms up, look up a little back bend and sink the hips even lower. Release the hands to the ground, half splits. So sit back and stretch into the leg. If it's too much, you can also stay up. Now release and we will come back into our downward facing dog. The spine is nice and long. Press evenly into the hands and into the feet. You can take a cleansing breath here through the mouth. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Now slowly walk the feet forward to the front of the mat, grab the opposite elbows for a ragdoll fold so you can swing a little bit from side to side, you can keep the knees as bent as you need to, just releasing our lower body, our spine and then come all the way up, rise the arms up and bring the hands in front of your heart. Next, we will come into three pose. So you can lift your right leg up and place your foot in the inner groin or on your calf. Keep the knee opening to the side. You can stay with your hands in front of your heart or rise them up. Keep your balance. Focus on grounding the foot to the mat. And release and slowly bring the back foot to the ground for warrior one. So both feet are parallel to the longer edge of the mat. Rise the arms up and move up. Everything is facing forward. Now open the back leg to the side. So it's parallel to the shorter edge of the mat for warrior two. Arms are open to the side as well. Reverse warrior and come back up. Back to center and we will come into wide legged forward fold. So you can bring both of your feet to be parallel to the shorter edge of your mat. 
and then bend forward. Bring your hands to the mat or you can grab your big toes with your two piece fingers. And release here, stretching into the back of the legs. Now bring your hands on your hips and rise up. Turn your toes slightly outwards and bend your knees. Engage your core muscles, keep the chest lifted. Bring the arms up and make a cactus shape with your arms. On the inhale, straighten your legs and arms. And on the exhale, bend your knees and lower back. Follow your own breath for a few more rounds. So lengthen and bend into the squat position. Lengthen, come back down. Last one. Release. Now you can bring the feet together and come back to the front of the mat. We will take our flow. So rise your arms up, look up. Exhale, lower down, forward, forward. Halfway lift, flat back. Plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga maybe on your knees. Now cobra or upward facing dog. And we will meet in our downward facing dog. I am calm and centered. Now slowly walk the feet again to the front of the mat. Hold on to opposite elbows. Release the lower back, back of the legs. And then bend the knees even more and come all the way up. We will repeat this small sequence on the other side. So first we are coming into our free pose. So lift your left leg up, place your foot onto your inner thigh or calf, and bring the palms of your hands together to touch in front of the heart. Feel the foot grounding into the mat. I am releasing all my fears and worries. All is well. Come back to warrior one. So bring the left foot behind. Everything is facing forward. The hips are squared. Look up, bring the arms up. And now open to warrior two, so spin the back foot and open the arms to face to the side. The arms are engaged. And reverse, reach your arm up and over. Come back to center and we will come into wide legged forward fold once more. So on the inhale lengthen and on the exhale Come back, bringing the hands to the mat. Let your head dangle to release the neck. Feel the feet grounding evenly into the mat. Bring your hands on your hips and rise up with a flat back. Turn your toes outwards and bend your knees. Engage your core. Bring the arms up and make a cactus shape with your arms. On the inhale, straighten your leg arms and on the exhale, bend your knees and lower back into goddess pose. Follow your own breath for a few more rounds.
last one come back to the front of the mat and we will take our flow so on the inhale look up rise the arms up and exhale fall down halfway lift uttanasana lower into plank chaturanga upward facing dog and downward facing dog stretch everything out and slowly work your feet work your feet back to the front of the mat come all the way up look up and bring the palms of the hands together in front of the heart will come into Malasana or Yogi Squat. So now you stand with your feet mat distance apart, toes turn out and squat down. Bring your palms together in heart center and keep opening your legs by pressing your elbows to your knees. Keep your spine long, take deep breaths. It's a great grounding pose, bringing all the blood flow down to the internal organs. Feel your feet grounding into the mat. Release, you can come to sit and lie back down. Bend the knees and bring your heels closer to your sit bones. Gently tuck your chin into your chest. On the inhale, lift your hips up towards the sky. And on the exhale, lower them down on the inhale lift them up keep pressing both of your feet down and on the exhale lower down repeat and follow your own pace of breath make sure the knees are not opening and the feet are pressing down And now bring the hips up and we will stay in the pose holding it up keep pressing your hips up keep pressing the feet to the ground release now bring the knees towards your elbows grab the soles of your feet or grab the toes with your two piece fingers keep pressing the knees open and also try to press them down press your shoulders into the mat and make sure you are not lifting your tailbone too much. Happy baby. Release. And we will come into our supine spinal twist. So move your hips slightly to the right and then slowly drop your knees over to your left side. You can bring your arms out wide. And make sure that your shoulder blade is staying on the mat, not lifting. You can close your eyes if you are comfortable. Bring the knees back move the hips slightly towards the left and drop over to the other side extend your arms to the side and you can turn your the opposite direction release and we will come into shavasana our final resting pose 
So you can lie down on your back and softly close your eyes if you haven't already. Take lots of space, palms face up. Relax all the muscles in your face and allow your body to become heavy on the mat. Feel the body melting into the ground. Come back to the affirmations if you want to. I am calm and centered. I am releasing all my fears and worries. All is well. Invite gentle movements into your fingertips and toes. Make yourself long, stretch it out. And when you are ready, turn over to the right side and come back to the seated position. You can keep your eyes closed if you are comfortable. And we will finish with a short pranayama practice with a short breathing technique. Alternate nostril breathing. You can place the index finger and the middle finger in between your eyebrows. Exhale completely and then use your right thumb to close your right nostril. Inhale, inhale through your left nostril and then close the left nostril with your ring finger. Open the right nostril and exhale through the side. Inhale through the right nostril and then close this nostril. Open the left nostril and exhale through the left side. Follow the pace of your breath and repeat a few times. So inhale through your left nostril. Close it. Open the right one and exhale. Inhale through the right one, close it. Open the left nostril and exhale.
release. Now bring the palms together in front of the heart. For the last time, focus on your breath. Focus inwards. And we will finish together with the chant of Aum one time. So take a deep breath in to chant. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments how it went for you. Bye.